In this video, we're going to tell you about the confirmed fourth and probably last paid expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Subscribe to Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So after Dawn of Ragnarok, I think a lot of people were hoping that there would be more mythical expansions, maybe more expansions, maybe some free stuff. But we've got the final paid expansion, I think. It's definitely the fourth paid expansion, and it's 100% confirmed. Indeed, you can buy it right now. But it's definitely not what anybody expected. But I guess we should have, because it seems like Ubisoft is doing this for every one of its game, the games. The fourth paid expansion to Assassin's Creed Valhalla is... Va Uno Valhalla DLC or Valhalla Uno DLC. So Uno is the card game Uno <laughs> and it is billed as the uh, the only Uno that uses a board, right? So there's a board game aspect to this Uno <laughs> card game which you can pick up for $5 about on any platform. It's, it's on uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Switch, I think it's on Stadia, and you can also get it on PC. I recommend getting on PC regardless of what platform that you have bought your Valhalla on because you don't have to have Xbox Live Gold if you're on Xbox, or you don't have to have PlayStation Plus if you're on PlayStation to use the online features of this with PC. But, you know, ever since they ba they uh, backed off of the Ostera Festival, you know, the writing's been on the wall that uh, Valhalla is kind of on the outs. And, you know, it's really been on the outs since we got the news from Jason Schreier at Bloomberg that they the supposed fourth DLC, which is not Uno, uh, but the Bassam DLC was going to be made into its own story short standalone game so they can charge you 60 bucks for it instead of 20 or charge you 40 bucks for a season pass including Ragnarok instead they charge us 40 bucks for Ragnarok uh, without anything else and you have to pay an extra five dollars to get this marvelous Uno DLC uh, for Assassin's Creed Valhalla yeah I guess I'll pick it up for five dollars uh, but you know I really think this should be free with if you bought Dawn of Ragnarok, it doesn't, I don't, even though they call it DLC, uh, the stories that I have read have said that you don't have to buy the Uno standalone game, which costs $9, or the, uh, the, the Uno game with all the frills, the deluxe edition that's like $20, you can get this $5 Uno Valhalla DLC. You know, a lot of comments when this came out on Twitter and also on YouTube were like, uh, April Fools was last week because <laughs> this is this was so campy. This was even more campy than the Unibear joke that was told by uh, by uh, the Twitter handle for Assassin's Creed. I mean, really, the Unibear joke just is like, oh yeah, that's a little silly, but really, it lied with every every mount we've had in Valhalla. But this was over the top. I mean, the actress who plays Eivor, who voiced the thing, she was just cracking up while she was doing it. You could tell she just could barely keep her composure. It just was like, oh my goodness. At least it, they they better be paying me a lot of money to do this. I don't know. I, I think, you know, I'm not a big fan of card games, uh, you know, on a console or a PC. I mean, you'd think you'd put something like this on a, on like a, mobile app but no it's gonna be you can have it on your switch you can have it on your pc your your playstation your xbox and it's only 4.99 and you can conquer midgard and even get your own viking longship while playing uno subscribe to the linus wilson channel we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Tell me if you're going to pick this up, uh, if you picked up Dawn of Ragnarok. Are you excited about the new Bassam game, Rift, which is likely coming out holiday 2022 or Q1 2023? Or are you just fed up with Ubisoft altogether and the milking of this franchise to death? Bye-bye.